said, then you keep it for me. If the fast means this, he said, no, no, it doesn't mean anything. So we both had fun. <laughs> neither, neither, I broke that ritual. And nobody told me that you hang on. My mother-in-law wouldn't walk up to me saying, you keep uh, Kanyadan. Oh, sorry, this, 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 this Karva chop. Karva chop, my friends, you may love it or you don't. I don't. You may do it for a reason, fine. You may do it for the love. Let me tell you, it disempowers. It puts you on another side. It's a lot of fun, it's exchange, it's clothing, it's jewelry, it's money, it's network, but it is at a woman's cost. Do you agree? Would you have the courage to challenge it? <laughs> That's the point. You may not. You may not. But the young educated woman and the young educated man must challenge it. That to me is education. Then comes money. What disempowers an educated woman? She offers to have a joint bank account. If she's earning, she has got the salary, and the first thing she does is mom, to her mother-in-law, ye meri salary ma rakhle. And there's a joint account, and she surrendered, thinking, a meri salary, hai. I owe it to my mother-in-law now to keep it. Or my husband is a joint account where there's no mother-in-law. I neither gave it to my mother-in-law, nor to my husband. I kept it in my own account, but I brought a gift for my mother-in-law. Because, because I liked her. She's a good woman. So I said, Biji, I brought this sari. Lai. She said, thank you very much. Which means the salary is with me, gift is for you. So the, from the first month, I did not disempower myself economically. I've seen many women after marriage in a conflict. What do I do? Do I give my salary to my husband? Do I give it to my in-laws? Do I keep it? And I feel a guilt. But that doesn't mean I wasn't contributing to the house. I was wanting to fully 50% contribute to the house. Or even the whole salary, doesn't matter, it's my home. It is my home. But nobody has to tell me to do it. It's my home. I will do it. Because I love to do it. But don't make me do it because I'm a woman. I'll not get disempowered. So financial disempowerment happens. Why? Because the women do not have confidence from the education they get. Our education does not ed make them courageous and question certain, certain outmoded practices. They're afraid, kya hoga? Sara de dar dar ke. They're all afraid all the time. Then comes reproductivity. I'm a police officer in uniform. I must decide because I'm the one who's going to produce the baby. And I'm in uniform. My husband is not. So when I reproduce, I lose that full one year of my profession. I get out of size. My uniform gets off me, my, my promotion is handled. So me and my husband said, well, let's save the first three years. Let me get my senior scale. We'll talk about the uh, motherhood after two to three years. We agreed on that. We mutually agreed to space the baby. And then when it happened, when the baby was born, it was also decided that I can't reproduce again and again. Is one enough? We both agreed one is enough. And I told him, if you want another, let's adopt another. I don't, care, don't mind that. If you wish, we have a daughter, you want another child, we can go to the orphanage and adopt a child. I'll be very happy. He said, no, for me, one is enough. That's empowerment. And disempowerment would have been produce the child when it comes. And secondly, reproduce because he wants it. And it's not that it was unilateral decision, it was joint. It was talking as friends, as companions, not a dominating relationship. We disempower because we allow a submission and allow a dominating relationship to come. So friends, I thought, let me share with you these few things. And another thing, I think, which disempowers women, with, and mostly educated women, is the emotions. They're very, we are very emotional. We are emotional, we start crying whenever we feel like. I've not seen men cry, 
Well, if I want to cry, I'll go to the bathroom and cry. But I'll not cry before the man. Why? I want to cry. Go cry. That's why, as a police officer, if any woman constable who came to my office and wanted to cry, do you know I used to say, Pehle daftar se bahar jao, rona khatam karke phir ao. Because I don't like to see people cry. I neither let men cry. Even men used to cry. Say, bahar jao, rona nahi hai yaan. Paat karne ke liye, paani pi ke ao. I think emotional disempowerment happens also when like the drop the hat, the woman cries. And she thinks that by crying, she'll get attention. You agree? Have I told you some many things wrong? <laughs> Everything right. <laughs> but impractical. Cannot be done, right? To some extent. Oh, you will change. Change honge. You see, many socha, thoda sach bole aaj. Ye lecture dene nahi me aai. Main sach bolne aai. Aur aapko pata main sach to bolti hu. Mujhe jhoot bolne ki aadat nahi hai. Aur na main kisi se darti hu. Ab kya bigar loge mera aap? Yahan se nikal doge. Rao sahab hai. Unke hospital mein ruk jaungi. So, it's, it's important that, listen, in this country, women will not be empowered till parents change. The empowerment of the woman is in the hands of the mother and the father. Unless they become parents like mine, Indian women will not be empowered. And what did my parents do? They educated me and said, educate to liberate. It is set free. But be kind, be generous, be compassionate, be giving, be sharing, be interdependent. Not not Hitler to Michael. Nothing like that. It was give and take. And not only give, give, give. No, no, no. You give, you take. It's not it's a business. It's being for each other. So friends, what is disempowerment? I've already told you. You want to know what is empowerment? Turn it around. Turn it around and you have the empowerment. And empowerment will not happen till mothers and fathers thinking changes for both boys and girls. You have to groom your boys as equals. And so have you to groom your girls as strong, to be equals. And then walk the aisle like Kate and William did, equally, head held high, without a penny's wastage, no rituals. No Kanya dance. Yes, if you want to have those rituals of um, kya tha wo? Karwa chauth. Then make it Mitha chauth. Both will do it. Otherwise, ek nahi karega. Sorry, can't be one-sided. I am not even aware of a single ritual which the man has to observe for a woman. Not single. And when a woman gets up to say no Kanya dance, no dowries, reasonable receptions, you are invited. Friends, this requires, and if my parents could think like this in the 50s, can't parents think like this in 2012s and 21st century? My parents were of the 20th century. We are now of the 21st century. What was different? I think, the, and my parents were not PhDs. They just thought equally. They just thought right. They thought big. They had a vision ahead. And they thought that there's... There's just a biological difference, otherwise the needs are similar. Both need equal interdependence. So friends, empowered woman is in the hands of the man and the woman. And in this country, it will take a long, long time for Indian girls to be empowered. Because it's a one billion population plus. And thanks to the doctors, we keep reproducing. <laughs> I know. You keep reproducing and you encourage reproduction. Bilkul. Bhagwan deta hai, ab ye bhi sikhate, tum kud kaise le sakte ho? So, with billion and 1.20, 1.30 we'll be reaching. But the education being so behind time. And the media continues to disempower a woman in many, many ways. The way they disrobe a woman is disempowering a woman. 
the way they scantily clad a woman is disempowering a woman. Media plays its own role. Not that it does not show empowered women, of course it does, but it also shows the same have not. It's a have not clothing situation. So we, are, we have a big struggle ahead. The choice is in our hands as brothers, sisters, parents, how do we empower women? And my feeling is, real meaning of education is which liberates a man and a woman who rises above these rituals and practices and looks at the equality of relationship and equal contribution to build society, not only for them ourselves, but for the other have-nots. A have-woman and a have-man contributes to the have-not boy or a have-not girl. To me, this is the definition of empowered woman who grows up to generate for herself, to give to others and build the society as a whole. As the Rao's 